Uh, hi, my name is Fiona and this is my channel Fiona Creates and today I'm here to talk to you very briefly on a topic that's quite close to my heart and that is sketching with confidence. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, how good you think you are or what your anatomy is like or whatever, but if you have confidence when you're sketching, um, what you can produce is something that's got a lot more life and a lot more... Um, connection to your audience than something that if you were half afraid of the paper uh, I mean think about artists like uh, Quentin Blake or David Trigley they it might not be the kind of artwork that you want to make but it's definitely artwork that's got a bold connection to the audience because they sketched with a very um, strong line and strong marks and just did it whereas there's this thing that I see a lot of people do, uh, which an art teacher a long time ago used to call it chicken scratching, because I was guilty of this as well. And that is where you sit there and you make like 20,000 marks because you're so afraid of getting the shape wrong. So you just kind of keep making a lot of marks. Sometimes you literally scribble back and forward uh, to get it right, to make sure that it's in the right place and that you don't have to put the mark wrong. And you end up with this kind of very heavy handed uh, thing and it has no flow. So like the shoulders here, I'm finding it actually quite difficult to get something that, that actually flows quite nicely because there's no flow because you're actually moving your pen back and forward. So you're breaking the flow. Um, same if I went to then make my cross marks across the face where I can then put the eyes in. I'm being very exaggerating here, you know, not everyone I see does it like this. But I see plenty of people who do this kind of thing and you end up with this very jerky kind of, you know, there's no flow to it. And even if I was to then hide this and then trace it up, the actual line that is there for me to trace is just very jerky. It's in a way it actually makes the, the sketch look worse. Um, I'm not actually going to concentrate on this for too much better. I'm sure you, you get the picture. Uh, whereas if I was to come in with confidence, um, especially digitally, if you get the mark wrong or in the wrong place, it doesn't matter because, you know, digitally you can erase it and it's like it was never there. It's not that you can have pencil rubbing marks or whatever. So you can come in and do a very similar drawing. I Maybe it's a few more marks than my teachers would like. But you, if you make a big mark, you've got the flow there and you've got the wonderful flow here across the shoulders that I didn't have before. And if it's in slightly the wrong place, I just do another line. Or if it's completely wrong, I can erase the whole thing and come back in and just draw the shape again. And again, this is the basic sketch. So, you know, if it's not quite right, I can then fix it when I come back in. I put the marks in and I get very quickly a rough shape and it's a lot more alive it's it, I find it connects to people more if I do this quickly and yes I've got maybe quite a lot of uh, experience when it comes to drawing um, but I got that experience just by making a lot of things and this is a very quick process so you can actually sketch like this and make a lot of things I do this a lot and don't save it so now if I was to then take the opacity down and trace over the top if my program will listen to me um, I will get something that's a lot more confident and I've also got the ability having done this for years to even come back in with this line work with a lot more confidence and I don't have to worry because I've taught my hand this is where the mark goes and you know as you can see here I'm just Sort of placing the face shape several times because it is not right but it's digital i can do this and um, you don't have to be afraid of your own of the, the white space or the paper or whatever it is that you're doing when i was in art school and being taught about drawing with confidence i had uh, a teacher that used to come along and hit me on the hand with a ruler every time she caught me um chicken scratching um and yeah, it didn't hurt, but it was that kind of, it jumped me out of it so that when I started doing that scribbly back and forth movement, this one, um, it's, uh, it made me think, oh no, she's coming for me because she's watching, which I'm sure she wasn't watching all the time. But you end up learning over time how to make long, 
sort of confident marks uh, as opposed to being so afraid of making a mark wrong that you end up with 20 million marks and a very stiff looking drawing. Um, this translates as well to the very basic part of the gesture set sketch to begin with. So if you're doing a full body thing and you get a pose, it is much easier to just do, you know, this basic thing, uh, which I can then fix anatomy and stuff later. Um, if I can do this with much more confidence than if I was to sort of, you know, worry about, oh no, maybe the shoulder's in the wrong place. Oh no, I've got to do another one. And, you know, I kind of lose, I've, I mean, I've lost my place here already. I'm not actually sure what I'm doing anymore. Um, whereas I'm sure you've seen maybe in tutorial things, people talk about a line of action, which is straight down the middle, and you want that one strong mark. If I was to make a line of action that was just like, oh, where is it going? You know, I've lost all flow here. You know, it's it's not right. So it's, it's the same thing uh, across all types of drawing. Um, but especially with digital, because it is so quick and you can uh, work it all out very quickly. Um, and if you make it wrong, you can just press the undo button or erase it. And it was like it was never there. You can end up with something that's a lot more confident than that original that original sketch um, drawing and talking at the same time are uh, difficult apparently um, that's the sketch and then like this one here it's the same for me same control um, just a bit of a mess really um, so I hope that you can go away and even if you feel that you're not that great at drawing or whatever, you can go away and try drawing with some confidence that you meant to put that mark there. And um, that if it goes wrong, then you just make another one. Um, you don't get good at doing something by making it right every time. You have to screw up and screw up over and over again and just enjoy the process. Uh, so happy sketching. Um, bye.